Hi guys, welcome to live series this year. So excited the year of mounting up. And we started a new series a couple of weeks ago, the series of love and God's love. I'm going to be taking us through a kamini topic or a kamini section of that, which is how to love by example. My name is Wageshua Mwaniki. Stick around. Now, what does it mean to love or to live love by example? Um, what does it mean to love practically? What does love look like on a day-to-day -day basis? My favorite portion of scripture when it comes to looking at love practically is 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And not just to read together. I'm going to be reading from verse 4. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. The greatest example of what it means to actually love by, exa by practically really and, and to love um, on, an, on a day-to-day -day basis is Christ and I like to do three things when it comes to this beautiful portion of scripture number one I like to replace the word love with Christ so it would read something like this Christ is patient Christ is kind Christ does not envy Christ is not boastful Christ is not arrogant Christ is not rude Christ does not insist on his own way Christ is selfless Christ is irrit not irritable Christ is not resentful he does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. He bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Christ never ends. When you read it like that, it sounds really beautiful, right? Because what you're able to read when you replace um, the word love with Christ sounds true. And it is true. It is perfect. The second thing I like to do is replace the name love with my own name. And it would go something like, Wangeshi is patient. Hmm. Wangeshi is kind. Wangeshi does not envy. Wangeshi is not boastful. Wangeshi is not arrogant. And so on and so forth. The third thing I like to do, and the last thing I like to do, is to replace the name love with um, someone that I that is in my life that I love or or let's say a significant other a parent a friend I'm going to pick my surname Moneki let's say Moneki is patient Moneki is kind Moneki does not envy or boast Moneki is not arrogant or rude he does he does not insist on his own way he's not irritable he's not resentful and so on and so forth when you when you do that this simple exercise is supposed to help you um, answer the question am I truly living love by example am I practical Am I all these things that love entails? And then it's, it, it also allows you to ask, is this significant other, is this parent, is this person who is in my life intentionally living love, by example? Christ died so that we can know him and know him and become like him. And that's why God is continuously conforming us into the image of Christ. And if you're going to live love, by example, if you're going to live um, a, a love, a life that's full of love and, and intentionality, we need to live it practically. And this is the key. Replace your name. And if it doesn't sound good, work at those things. Work at being patient. Work at being kind. Work at not being envious. Work at, at, at um, forgetting the wrong things that people have done. Work at, being, at, at, at rejoicing in truth. Work at those things until the day when you're able to read those things about yourself or about someone else and you say, hmm, doesn't sound too bad. The way when we read about Christ is patient, Christ is kind, it sounds perfect, it sounds good. So I challenge you to take it up, to try and be all these beautiful things in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 all these practicalities of love, love in action, work at being those things for the people around you and for the community of believers. Baraka, see you next time.